video. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that is widely, um, you know, that students widely have some misconceptions with, and that has to do with what we call resistivity, right? Um, what students need to understand is that there are different things that can affect the, the flow of current, you know? Um, from an elementary standpoint, you know that uh, resistance in general is that ratio to the potential difference and current, yeah? Now, resistance in itself affects the flow of current. Depending on your potential difference, that can also affect the overall potential, overall uh, current that flows through the circuit, right? But what we want to talk about now is what can also affect it based on the dimension of the wires that the current flows through. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come up with an equation that says R is equal to resistivity rho. Some persons have issues with how we write this, but um, let's, let's just rewrite it in a different way. It's almost like a P, well it's not completely a P. Yeah, resistivity, uh, L, which is the length of the wire, divided by the area, the cross-sectional area of the wire. Now what we're going to do here, right, we're going to, of course, understand how these different um, variables can affect how current flows through a wire and also, uh, in general, also affects the overall resistance. Now, if we get a piece of wire, right, of a certain length with a certain cross section of area, so let's say that this is the length of that wire, and then we have the cross section of area here, right? As you can imagine, inside of this wire, there are different ions or atoms inside of the wire, right? So as the current flows from one end, that current will be affected by how much particles are inside of the wire, where in which that basically speaks to the resistivity of the material. Where resistivity rho speaks to the degree to which uh, electrons can be uh, opposed as it flows through a conductor. Right? Every material that allows current to flow has its own unique resistivity, so it's not a fix. It's not a, uh, those values will change in terms of resistivity. What I want you to see is that as we increase the length of the wire, we're essentially saying that as these electrons are flowing, they will have more collisions with the particles as they pass from one end to the next, and that in itself will also cause the resistance to increase. The way we can also look at it is that if I increase this, right, because L is in the numerator of this fraction, it is also telling me that I'll have a directly proportional um, increase in terms of my length of the wire. Whereas in terms of the cross section of area, A, if we make the wire much thicker, what we're saying is that that wire will then have enough space for more electrons to flow through, where in which there won't be any, uh, there won't be a lot of resistance because there are not more space in that cross-sectional area of the wire where which electrons can flow. So for that reason, we can then say that uh, resistance is inverse proportional to the area. So that's a basic um, rundown as to how we can talk about the dimensions of a wire and how that in itself can affect our resistance. Hope this was useful to you. Stick around for more uh, videos related to resistivity. Thank you.